In this lesson, we're gonna talk all about overtired, how to manage it, and how to beat having it disturb your sleep in the overnight hours. So overtired typically happens when we keep our little ones up for too long. In toddlers, it's very easy to spot overtired because their emotions sort of run amok. In babies, it can sometimes be a little hard to notice a child is overtired until we see visual cues. Most parents wait till they see a baby rubbing their eyes to recognize that they're ready for naps. Well, the problem is you've already missed the ideal window. So you really wanna pay attention to your child based on their age and what their ideal awake windows should be. If you have a child who is going to become overtired or who is already overtired, they may just require a little bit of extra support going down to bed that night, and that's okay. When you talk about the world of sleep coaching, I often try to remind parents that it's kind of a 90-10 rule, and 10% of the time, you're going to have to provide some of that support just to get them down to sleep. It is always better to avoid a child being overtired, whether that means that you give them a quick power nap later in the afternoon and push bedtime a bit, or if they refuse that nap or you just don't want to do that, you can bring bedtime earlier. I've had children go to bed as early as 5.30 at night and sleep through till 6.30 or 7 the next day. Kids do not know what time it is. They know how they feel and they know that their body needs rest. So it's important that you also follow that and get your child down either for a power nap or for an earlier bedtime, depending upon what's happening. As a toddler, I once had a client who had swim lessons on a Monday night, and all of a sudden sleep started to be a bit awry just on Monday nights. And I asked if they were doing anything different. Lo and behold, it was the swim lessons. So what we had mom and dad do was actually to take dinner in the car so that the little one could eat on the way to swim lessons and then get showered and in their pajamas at swim lessons. And by making those two small tweaks, we saved an hour at home. By the time they got back, they could still get their little one down with the book for bed at the right time and with a nice full belly. It avoided any sort of overtired and the little one started immediately sleeping through the night when we made the adjustments. So sometimes it's things that we don't even see that could be causing those wakings that you need to pay attention to. Overtired is probably the single worst thing in children at any age. It causes emotional instability. The same part of the brain where overtired impacts is the same part of the brain that handles emotional, cognitive, and behavioral regulation. So it's important for both adults and parents to get the right amount of sleep at the right time to be the best version of themselves and to avoid overtired.